So I'm working on some internal doors today. I need something called a shooting block or door vise. I'm going to make one out of a scrap piece of wood, show you exactly how it's done. So a shooting block as I would call it, or a door vise, I've also seen it called that, is just a really simple mechanism for holding a door upright so that you can work on the hinges, the locks, or you can plane down the leading edge. Normally on site, a joiner will make one out of a scrap piece of wood and then probably discard it at the end of the job. I've done exactly the same thing in the past, so I need one for today. The internal doors we're going to work on are 38 millimeters thick, so we're gonna take that as our base measurement. Okay, so making something like a, a shooting block or a door vise, there's no hard and fast rules. You just need a piece of scrap timber. This is probably as uh, small as I would go, would have preferred a, a wider piece of timber, but again, this is all about site joinery. Uh, utilizing the scrap you've got on site. So a piece of scrap wood, tape, a chisel, wood chisel, a handsaw, pencil and a hammer. That's basically all you need and uh, obviously something to work on. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a wedge off the piece of scrap timber that we've got. So you're looking at about a 20 degree angle. I'm going to use the back of the saw in order to create the straight line. Again, no hard and fast rules about how long this wedge has to be. That's probably about 25 centimeters. So all I'm going to do now is use the handsaw to actually cut this out. So once we've cut the wedge out, the next thing to do is to mark roughly the centre of the wood, which I've done here, but I'll run through the process. So we pick a point which is towards the centre of the wood, and then we mark our first line. We know that the doors we're going to be working on are 38 mil. So we measure 38 mil, mark that off. And then again, using the saw, this right angle from the, uh, the handle of the saw, mark that off. We then take the wedge that we've just cut and the, the straight part of the wedge goes against this line. Roughly find the center of the wedge and then pull the wedge towards you about a third of the way and then mark The wedge on the opposite side and the reason for pulling the wedge back is obviously that what's going to happen is that once we've cut this out the door is going to sit here The wedge is going to go in and then be tapped into place to fasten that door so it can't move Next thing to do and again, don't have to be completely accurate. Roughly get the center of the wood. I'm using my middle finger against the pencil and just draw a line across. And that'll be where you'll be sawing down to. And I've started to do this, so again, same on the other side. Use the saw again mark that down on either side now all we're going to do now is I'm going to saw down to this line a series of cuts just to make it easier to actually chisel out So once you've 
done that, we're pretty much done. I'll go and get one of the internal doors and show you exactly how this works. Right, so to show you exactly how it works, the door fits against this side, flush with there, like that. Then place our wedge in, a couple of taps, and that's it. To take the wedge out, you can either tap from this side or tap the actual supporting uh, wood on this side. So I normally just tap it out. And that's it, a really, really simple but very effective device. So there you go, a really simple but effective piece of kit and completely free of charge as well, made from a scrap piece of wood with just basic hand tools. Apologies if there's some heavy breathing on this audio. While I've been filming today, I've been moving doors in and out of the property. Uh, so it has been sort of quite energetic. Please subscribe to the channel. And as usual, if you've enjoyed this particular video, hit the like button. I'm planning on making a lot more of this type of video. Thank you very much for watching.